ETV's Caroline Hicks joins us now live from the Park Expo. And Caroline, most of us are used to the Expo either for the Southern Christmas show or church gatherings. I'm sure it looks very different tonight. Maureen, that's exactly right. And throughout the day, we've seen this space transform into a mass vaccination site. Tomorrow, almost 4,000 people will filter through here. They'll check in at these registration tables and then they'll make their way through several different stations, each of them walking away with the first dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. <laughs> Almost 4,000 people will get their first dose of the COVID-19 vaccine at this mass vaccination site. Some stopped by Friday to get a lay of the land. Just to find out if we need to be here, you know, an hour in advance. The gentleman that I just spoke with said maybe like 15 minutes if they ought. Novant Health leaders have been planning for weeks. There's 42 pods and you can sit four patients at each pod. So we'll be able to have a throughput of about 168 patients at one time. The space is organized by waiting areas, recovery areas and a centralized pharmacy housing the vaccine. If we have cancellations, uh, those type of things, we have wait lists. So as we see that, we'll try to be proactive so that, you know, we can get folks in here before the end of the day. Appointments are full. Novant worked with church leaders in marginalized communities to get the message out. It would be totally hypocritical for my wife and me to encourage our others to get the vaccine and we not do it ourselves. Dr. Cleveland Huntley chairs the Deacon's ministry at the Park Church. We want to live a long time. He is excited to get the first shot on Saturday, hoping others follow his lead. People should take the vaccine. I mean, what do they have to lose? Novant has plans to do the same thing they're doing here at the Spectrum Center next Saturday. They say it's going to be a similar setup, but at this point we do not know how many appointments are going to be available. We'll keep you updated as we learn more details about what that registration process is going to look like. For now, I'm live at the Park Expo. Caroline Hicks, WBTV on your side. What a great partnership between faith leaders and our health care leaders. Thank you so much, Caroline.